Hello everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to Strategic Command World War I with the Central Powers. And we are trying to execute our No Schliefen Plan, and uh, we will see, we will see how this all goes. Of course, that's the end of our turn, and now it is time for the Entente. Ser Serbia morale falls due to the loss of Belgrade, so that was a huge one that happened in the last episode. Serbia moves government to niche. So now this is the other one we need to go after. Uh, Chief of General Staff for Germany. Baron Konrad von Wangenheim, our ambassador to the Ottoman Empire, reports from Constantinople that the Ottoman army is not yet ready for war, that large sums of money will need to be spent on it to bring it up to an acceptable standard. Improving the Ottoman army will cost 200 MPPs at 50 MPPs a turn for four turns. In return, the Ottomans will be able to provide Liman von Zandas with the logistical support necessary to take the field. Would you provide the fuzz? Yes. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I mean, I know this game and games like this aren't the most popular ones, and I can see it in the views and stuff like that here on the channel. It's not really one that a ton of you are like, ooh, I gotta get into it. But it's really fun for me. It's a fun little mini-series to kind of showcase the game and try something a little bit different. So for everybody that has been watching, thank you so much and commenting and liking. And please continue to do so because I'd love to feature more games like this on the channel. So, uh, Chancellor Konrad von Hetzendorf. The Polish Supreme National Committee are offering their services in our fight against Russia. And Josef Pizutski is promising to share or to raise a Polish legion for service in our army. Given the number of likely Polish volunteers, these volunteers would form a half-strength detachment which could deploy at Kozice in early September 1914. Would you approve the raising of this Polish unit at a cost of 300 MPPs a turn for two turns? Yes. Absolutely. Bulgaria takes an increasing interest in the events in Serbia. Ottomans welcome the arrival of the Guben at Constantinople. French mobilization continues. As you can see here. German mobilization continues. So we get some more some more troops here around uh, Köln, Koblenz, Dortmund. The Austro-Hungarian mobilization continues. So we've got some more much needed much needed troops here in the fight against the Russians. So we have now collected 286 MPPs for Germany, 181 for Austria-Hungary, and 64 for the Ottomans. All right, so the French keep moving. We've got a naval engagement here. Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that was, that was swift. That was very swift. Enemy contact here in the Gulf of Finland. And it looks like those submarines have moved now. We've got enemy contact now. South coast of Finland. That decidedly went in our favor. Enemy contact off the coast of Germany. And that was pretty indecisive. They keep moving here. Trying to hit our fleet here. Uh, just between our mainland and Helgoland. And it really didn't come to much. Russians moving now against the Austro-Hungarians down there. That wasn't too detrimental. Ooh, three losses on our side, only one against them. That was a hard hit, so they're going to try to push that force back. And our goal here is, of course, we need to hang on here long enough for the reinforcements to come in. And it looks like looks like that, uh, that unit there is going to get shattered and annihilated. Now the Russians will advance there. Oh, the elite French unit. Oh, that was a big hit against them. Against our entrenched forces there. So the Russians do here, not much. French advancing. The Russian mobilization continues here. Movements along the front. We've got a headquarter there in the south. But right now, it's looking like we could trap Warsaw. The Russian Navy moving along there. So a lot of these movements will be interesting to watch. So there's some reinforcements, some upgrades probably happening now. That's usually what that grayed out ends up meaning. French mobilization now continues. Russian mobilization continues. 
We got some additional troops here along the front. Central Power Raiders disrupt France-Serbia convoys. Very nice. So the Cent uh, Centa light cruiser has been sunk and the 9th Corps has been destroyed. Alright, the Entente's naval blockade of Germany. The enemy may launch a naval blockade to stop neutral shipping bringing goods to our shores. We do not engage the enemy fleets carrying out such a blockade, then our people will go hungry and this could lead to disorder as their morale falls. There are two areas where the enemy can place ships to enforce blockades. The most effective one is between Scapa Flow and Norway. They can also enforce a blockade between Scotland and Iceland, but this is less harmful to us because it is easier for our merchantmen to slip through their patrols there. Note, placing minefields or our naval forces on these locations is not recommended as it will also impede the flow of merchant shipping and therefore reduce the national morale. So, basically just kind of have to deal. The Entente in Belgium. As we have not invaded Belgium, it is possible that the Entente may do so in an attempt to outflank our position on the Western Front. They may then even attack the Netherlands. We expect the attacks, despite any domestic or political consequences, the Entente may suffer. Firstly, the national morale of both the UK and France will fall as public opinion would condemn their attack. Secondly, attacking Belgium would swing the USA 8 to 20% away from the Entente. Attacking the Netherlands would swing it a further 11 to 20%. If you would rather the AI not invade Belgium, okay, I can change that, but we're not going to change that script. All right, so here we are. We are ready to roll. We're going to start here on the eastern or the western front. And we have these units here. Uh, with the French pushing here, we're obviously going to have to move into possession position along the front. I mean, there's no, no doubt there. We have to strengthen our forces here. So I'm going to move these guys here. And then I think we'll also move this reserve core here. So now we're in a pretty decent position. These guys here, we're gonna reinforce them to max points. Uh, obviously that cost a good amount of MPPs, but they were down pretty far. Now we could move into this position, but uh, these guys I think are all entrenched. Yeah. So we'll just continue with our entrenchment. I think they're still entrenched. Yeah. 3 2. They are. These guys are entrenched. We could attack with them. I'd like to push these guys back, but right now, really just want to hold. That's, that's the main objective here is to hold this position as absolutely best we can. Uh, entrench here, I really only need the one side to the south. Other than that, I think we're all completely entrenched. You know, I could move the, no, I can't move them. So I think we're, we're where we, we can be here. So, supply is still looking good. So, I'm not overly concerned with that. So, now, let's see if we can move some of these guys over. Operate. 18 MPPs to operate. So, that's basically train movement now. Could not do that before. And we're going to use train movement to move these guys as fast as possible. And again... 18 MPPs, that's worth it to me to bolster our forces along the eastern front here. Move them into position there. This headquarter unit. Again, it's costing us a lot of MPPs, but you know, we want to play this this Schliefenplan or no Schliefenplan out. Um, and so we will definitely do so. Uh, let's see, we've got a headquarter here, headquarter there, headquarter there. Yeah, we need to move one right here. Okay, so we've got those guys into position there. We could operate more of these out here, but I'm not going to do that. 
Instead, we're going to move this headquarter up in here. And actually, these guys... We're going to spend the 18 MPP and just strengthen our front here. It's worth it to me... Uh, just just to strengthen our position there. Uh, we were in desperate need of it. These guys... Do we need another train? Yeah. I mean, again, we're using up a lot of our operational points right now. But it is necessary. Okay, our flyboys. They can fly right here. So the recon bombers. Is there anything of note they could do here? Not overly so. I mean, this is all zero zero. It really wouldn't be much. But what they could do is give us some cover. So let's do a bombing raid there. Just give us a little bit more insight. And now we're going to attack these guys. That was a good hit against them. Now the next unit, a 1 4 for us. They're down to 1. Now these guys from the south are going to hit them. It'll be a 1-1, one, one, but it'll shatter them and move them out. We took no hit there. So now we're going to move these guys in here. We could move these guys out, but I, I'd kind of like to keep them in their position. Let's move our cavalry unit up there just to get a little bit of extra recon. Uh, we can move them in here. Yeah, let's do that. 0-2 here or a 1-3 there. Let's do a 0-2 here. Push that force back as much as we can. Okay, we did that. These guys need to get reinforced to max points. Uh, ooh, that's not a good one. Move them in here. This, this is an entrenched position, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see, is there any good attack we can have here? That's a 2-2, two, two, that's a 2-0. Let's move our cavalry unit up here for that little bit of extra recon. Uh, can we still operate? We can. So with a train, 18 MPPs. Uh, we're good in strength right there. I want to strengthen that section there. We do desperately need that. All right, we'll move you here. We'll reinforce these guys to maximum. Is there anybody else here to reinforce? Not really. So now we can move them. We can we could operate them. That's 18 MPPs. What about elite reinforcements? No, we don't really need to. Yeah, we can make them an elite troop. We'll do that. And these guys, we're going to move to the south. These guys, we're going to move along here. I don't think we have. No, we don't have no more MPPs left. Now, I was moving them here to help the Austrians, and they do need it. So we're going to keep moving down this direction. Not going to force march anybody else. So that's a 2-2. Two, two. That's a 2-0. Can we soften them up at all? Mm, I'm going to wait there. These are entrenched positions. Well, that really doesn't help us much. Yeah, they, they can't really do much of anything. That'd be a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, let's take it. I'd like to try to push them back. So they lose 2. We lose 2. Does that help them? No, not even a little. All right, so now moving here. That's a 2-1, two, 2-0. Two, we got to reinforce these guys. Max reinforce there. Um, there's just not much that our air can do. Uh, there's kind of give us some recon. I mean, that's really all we can do there. We'll leave those those guys where they are. So there's nothing really else going on there. Two one. All right, let's let's push up here. That's a two. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's there's not a lot that we're gaining on additional insights. That's a three two. Push them up here. A two two, a two three, two one. All right, let's try this. Attack here. Whoa, that was a big hit. They lost four. We lost two. That's gonna be a one three. Ah, didn't quite shatter them. But that was that was pretty decent. These guys, we're now gonna move off the front here. Could move them here or engage the enemy here. Two ones just not good enough. I'd like to cut off their supply eventually, but we can't do that just yet. These guys need reinforcements. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. All right, here we're gonna move these guys down here, do a little recon, okay. So there are some Russian troop movements there. Uh, we have a lot of cav here, but it doesn't really help us. Move that cavalry unit down south, our headquarters. I mean, look at that amassed fighting force right there. That's 2 1, 2 3, 2 4. Um. Let's actually go after these guys, see if that helps us. That was three loss there. Ooh, three, three, that was rough. Try a two, two. They lost two, we lost a one, so that was a good one. Uh, these guys need to reinforce. For sure. All right, so that was a little bit, this is, this is really where the Russians are pushing us hard. Like really, really hard. Let's move those guys back. So, oof, this is this is where I'm a little bit afraid. I mean, we may be able to push through up here, but down here, it's going to be hard. All right, now against Serbia. These guys need to reinforce all the way to the max. Now we're pretty much out of MPPs for everybody. So that's a 3-0 because that's an entrenched position. I'm going to move everybody into position here. Two zero one 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 two. All right, we'll take that hit. Uh, that wasn't great. Move them back. Move these guys here. A one two. Uh, that wasn't great either. Move them back. Let's move them up front here. A one one. I'd like to shatter them. Okay, they retreated. They retreated. So we will move them into position here. Two one two zero two one. Ah, get that HQ. We can move right into Belgrade. Can't reinforce them. Nope. Two one. I'd we'll we'll take the risk and see if we can hit them hard. One one one. That's okay. Two one. That's too much of a risk because we got two. Strong cores right here. But we'll do it anyway. So that's two against them, one against us. So that was worth it. A 1-1 one, one here. They lose one. We lose none. All right. That was actually a good operation here. We pushed them further away from Belgrade. Taking, taking that, uh, taking Serbia would be really, really key. All right. Now the Ottomans. Um... Yeah, these guys can can keep moving. Uh, we'll just keep moving them here towards the Russian front. And these guys will stay where they are. Uh, these guys will move them down here towards Egypt. I gotta keep an eye on Baghdad as well. All right, so now our Mediterranean forces here. These guys got hit rather hard, so we're going to move them back. Oof, these are all not, not overly great. So we'll just put them right here on that, on that convoy route. All right, so what can we do here? Anything? Not really. So we'll keep them here. They're already sitting on that convoy route, so we'll put these guys on this one. 
and leave them there. We'll leave these three ships where they are. I think that gives us pretty good strength there. And now here. So how's it looking? Okay, enemy contact here. Ooh, that was a hit against our sub. They lost one. All right, let's move out. And we're kind of containing the Russian Navy right there. That's okay. We're going to try to sink these guys. Ugh, that was nothing. Oh, there they are. Now they're gone. All right, good. That that was a good naval movement there for us. All right, these guys. We're going to move them all the way up here. Just kind of patrol through the area. Just in case. Just in case. Here are these guys... They will keep that Russian Navy kind of bogged in here. We could do a naval bombardment there, but I don't really feel like it. So, okay, those are there. Move them here further out. There's up. Oh, there's the enemy. Loss of one to us. inflict any damage on them. Uh, we lost one. They lost none. Any damage there? Nope. Not really. But we'll keep them in that position. Now, as far as these guys are concerned here, still want to move them here. I don't want to mobilize our North Sea fleet them along the coast there. I'm just going to let these guys kind of sit here. And this French destroyer. Try to push them away. That wasn't great. They lost two. We lost one. Ooh, that's That would not be a good one. <laughs> that would not be a good one. Just keep them going along here. Our subs sitting there. Let's see, we've got a battle cruiser, the Molka battle cruiser. Oh, 1 6, that'll destroy them. Yeah, baby. Okay, we got one hit. And we will move them here off those North Frisian islands. Just off of the Danish coast. I think that. That will do. We'll move those guys over there into position. And I think... I think that's everything we can do. We can do no more research. We can't add anything with the Ottomans. So I think we are good to go. And we will end our turn. Yes, I want to end this turn. Alright, French mobilization continues. Josef Pilzutski raises a Polish legion to fight for Austria-Hungary. And there they are in Kozice. Liman von Zandas takes charge of Ottoman units. All right, there's a headquarter unit there. So we collect 285 MPPs for us, 233 for Austria-Hungary, and 88 for the Ottomans. So the Ottomans, we can start working on uh, research for them. And we definitely need to look at purchasing some units for both Germany and and Austria-Hungary, depending on what happens now. That's that's the key thing. Uh, depending on how hard hit we get, we'll have to uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, Ferdinand Foch is provided with a field command. All right, there's another French ship in the Mediterranean. We'll deal with them, or I think this one right here is British. That's why we couldn't attack them, because that's a British ship. And as such, uh, we're not in war. We're not at war with them, so we couldn't do anything. So the Russians pulled out of there and took a pretty big hit. So naval... We should be able to get naval superiority against the Russians. It's if and when the British enter, we're going to have a problem because the Royal Navy is crazy powerful. I know when I play Strategic Command World War II War in Europe, man, the, the, the Royal Navy is so so tough i think when you look at the position of the russians now here we can start moving this front more and more and more towards uh, brest litovsk and cutting off warsaw there and there's a little skirmish there 
on the front, French attacking entrenched German forces, and losing rather heavily. Oh, that one took a hit. They lost one, we lost two. So the French are trying to push through there, but they are taking some heavy casualties, which is to be expected given that we have an entrenched force. Ooh, okay, so they're trying to cut off our supply there. Enemy contact against our cavalry unit. Oh, the cavalry unit did actually exceptionally well. Well done, Austrian cav. So that's going to push the Russians back again. So maybe we use that cav unit and sweep up from there. It looks like the French are swapping units on the front. Now the Russians are pushing forward here against the Austrians. New Serbian headquarter unit. Is now there. I mean, the Serbians really need to be careful. I mean, they're in a bad position there to be pushed out of the war quickly, which is what we need Austria to do down there. They need to hold against the Russians and knock out the Serbians. That is, that's what Austria needs to do. I get some reinforcements here for the Russians. Romania views Entente's successes against Austria-Hungary favorably. Prince Wilhelm flees Albania as civil oh sorry prince wilhelm flees <laughs> albania a civil war breaks out so albania is preparing for war okay keep an eye on that russian mobilization now continues along the front and that is the end of this episode, um, you know, we had Ferdinand Falkas provided with a field command. Sarajevo has been captured by us. Romania uh, is seeing the successes of the Entente. We'll have to keep an eye on what this means with Albania and Russian mobilizations have continued. Now, we will continue this episode um, or the series next time. I hope you are enjoying it. I am for sure. This is totally different. And again, not great for views, but that's okay. It's all about having some fun. And we will deploy our new subunit in the next episode. So until then, don't forget to hit the like button. I'm Brown Builder Guy, and I will talk to you soon.